Hey guys, it is Mr. Cucumber here, and I have a very special gameplay for you today. This is a 104 and 7 on the map raid, um, Grand War Domination. This is actually a friend's gameplay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm not that beast um, at this game. At the moment, I'm just tearing my eyeballs out trying to get the diamond SMG, so my KD's going down quite a lot. But anyway, um, this is a friend, uh, Intense Crackers. I'll have his PSN username in the description if you wish to add him. Um, he speaks French and English just like me. But anyway, first of all, in this commentary, I am going to give you a few tips that he told me on how he got this amazing gameplay. And then I am going to give you a few tips on how to get the diamond SMGs a bit faster. So first of all, you need to be aware of your surroundings. A headset would help, but it's not a necessity. Um, what's really important is is that radar. If a lot of people on your team call in UAVs, it is it is going to help you. And also, he gets the orbital VSAT, which which leads him straight to his dogs in this gameplay. You also have to play smart. You can't be too exposed, you can't just run it in the middle of the map because you, you can get, you're an easy target for the enemy. What you want to do is sort of outflank the enemy, go through the sides of the map instead of just running in the middle. Also, know when to play the objective in domination. If you have A and B for example, and you run towards C, make sure that the enemies aren't in their spawn, they're in the middle of the map for example, because as soon as they hear enemy capturing C, they're going to run back there, so you better have, have the flag captured before they do that and ready for them to arrive. And it is important to play the objective because, as you all know, it does give you a lot of, of, lot of score, especially in domination. Also, you don't want to arrive in front of the enemies, you want to arrive from the side or from behind the enemies, where they least expect you. You want to be away from your teammates and at the same time flank. I recommend using Ghost to be able to do this. So remember, use a gun you're comfortable with, f flank the enemies, but make sure your teammates are away from you. I really recommend using Ghost for this. Right, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you found those tips useful. Um, now I am going to give you uh, uh, tips on how to get the diamond SMGs faster. So first things first, the 100 headshots. Um, I'm sure you all know the best way to get 100 headshots is to equip the laser sight, possibly a silencer as well, and sort of hit fire towards the upper part of the body. Uh, this works pretty well for me. Um, a good game mode uh, for when you're doing the 100 headshots challenge is free for all, as you're always close to a kill. And then for the rest of the challenges, or even all of the challenges, if the gun is pretty bad, I recommend doing hardcore. Like the Chicom or the, um, what's the other one, the Vector, is it's really good in hardcore because they'll kill in one shot up, up close and or two at a, a distance. And maybe even three if they're behind a wall sometimes. So it's really good to get the 150 kills without any attachments and perks. I recommend having one class with no attachments and no perks, it will go a lot quicker. And yeah, like I said, if it's a bad gun, try hardcore, because every gun is beast in hardcore. Um, you know, you only have 30 health in hardcore, so that's why the guns kill you so quickly. So you, you want to play a bit defensively, it might take you a few games to sort of get the hardcore grip going, but after that... Hardcore is a really really enjoyable game mode and I, I actually really like it and I always use it now to get my um, diamond camo di to get the diamond camos even if the gun is pretty good. Um, so far all I have left to do is the uh, vec- oh no, no not the vector the uh, scorpion evo yeah because it's the last unlock. So yeah um, that's pretty much it for the um, diamond SM G's tips. Um, uh. Right, so there's a lot of uh, gameplay left, so I decided to give you uh, some funny facts that I found on the internet. I hope you enjoy them. Right, so this is an interesting one. If you put Saturn on water, 
it would actually float. I, I don't really understand that one. I don't really understand how if you put satin on water, it would float. Hmm, it'd have to be a pretty, pretty big swimming pool. But anyway, um, next fact. Uh, before the eraser, bread was used to uh, remove pencil marks. I'm not sure bread is too effective. I'll have to try it out. Having blue eyes is actually a mutation. Before the mutation occurred, everyone is born with brown eyes. Well, I guess you learn something new every day, because I did not know that. Next fact. Apples are actually more efficient than caffeine in keeping you awake in the morning. Hmm, it makes me wonder, like, why do so many people drink coffee? Because I actually think it tastes pretty bad. I mean, just my opinion, really. But yeah, eat more apples. Right, I apologize if I sound like your mum. Right, that sounded a bit wrong. But anyway, next fact, and this is probably the best fact of all. Orange juice is actually yellow. How about that for a fact? I bet you didn't know that. The ice cream you see in ice cream map ads, sorry, is often mashed potato as it will not melt during the production. Next fact, it is actually impossible to lick your elbow. And I bet you're trying to lick your elbow right now. Right, this next one's pretty funny. In the study of 200,000 ostriches over a period of 80 years, no one has reported a single case where an ostrich has buried its head in the sand. So, I guess this means that what you see in movies isn't always true. This next one's quite scary. If you try to suppress a sneeze, you can rupture a blood vessel in your heart or neck and die. 23% of pho photocopier faults worldwide are caused by people sitting on them and photocopying their butts. Just like in the cartoons. In the course of an average lifetime, you will, while sleeping, eat an average of 70 assorted insects, including 10 spiders. Another interesting one, over the last 150 years, the average height of people in, the, in, in industrialized nations has increased 10 centimeters, about 4 inches. In the 19th century, American men were, were the tallest in the world, averaging 1 meter 71. Today, the average height of, for an American is 1 meter 75, compared to 1, one meter 77 for the, for the Swedes and 1 meter 78 for the Dutch. The tallest nation in the world is the Watu Watuzis of Burundi. I don't even know where that is. Yet another interesting one. An ordinary TNT bomb involves atomic reaction and could be called an atomic bomb. What we call an A-bomb involves nuclear reactions and should be called nuclear bomb. The highest ever recorded surface temperature on Earth is 70.7 .7 degrees Celsius or 159 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded in 2004 in Lut Desert, Iran. Blimey, I mean, that's hot. Similarly, the lowest recorded temperature according to Wolfram Alpha is actually minus 89 degrees Celsius or minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, recorded in July 21st, 1983, in Vostok, Vostok, Antarctica. Right, and this one, you should try it out at home, because I'm not too sure if it's true, but a raisin dropped in a glass of fresh champagne will bounce up and down continuously from the bottom of the glass to the top. Um, yeah, try that out please and let me know in the comments if it's if it's actually true right that's it for the tips and the facts i hope you enjoyed this amazing gameplay um if you did uh let me know if you want more tips more facts or anything like that in the comments below 
Um, if you enjoyed, you can leave a like. You don't have to. Um, if you would like to see more from me, you can subscribe. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I am a small growing channel. And uh, yeah, uh, if you want to, you can add the player um, Intense Crackers. I'll have his name in the in the description below. Right, thanks for your watching, and I'll see you in my next video.